I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Makakudash, for giving me the spirit to do this video. This lesson is going into one of Yahweh Shai's serious, serious words, man, that he spoke. You know, we're going to go into it because it's very, very serious when you meditate on it, man. Because it really plays a huge, huge part in you getting out of here, man, in your mind frame. All right? So let's start at Luke chapter 9, starting at verse 57. And it came to pass that as they went in the way, a certain man said unto him, Lord, I will follow thee wheresoever thou goest. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man hath not where to lay his head. Now the reason that was so is because Yahweh Shai was about doing the will of his Father in heaven, man. You talk about serious, okay? He wasn't worried about everything else. He was only worried about pleasing Yahweh, man. And we got to be in the same mind frame, all right? Verse 59, and he said unto another, follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. Now, think about this. If we were to say this to somebody in the world, they would look at us crazy, man, like we were Satan, not understanding the seriousness of that statement. So let's read it again. And he said unto another, follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. Now, is it a wicked thing and an evil thing to go bury your father? No, it's not. But let's keep reading to get some understanding. Verse 60, Yahweh Shah said unto him, let the dead bury the dead. Let the dead bury their dead. Let the spiritually dead bury the physical dead, but go down and preach the kingdom of Yahweh. So let the spiritually dead, the ones who are still bones, and this word ain't for them, let the spiritually dead bury the physical dead, man, and preach the gospel, man. Meaning you got to understand what time it is, man. When Yahweh Shemashah calls you to this truth and calls you to the heavenly kingdom, okay, as a hopeful elect to get there, man, it's going to take to forsake everything, okay, including family members, all right, because it don't have to be a dad, a mother, a cousin. It could be a family member in general, man, because we love our fathers. We're supposed to. We love our mothers. We love our family, but we can't put our family before Yahweh Shemal Shai, and that's what this is going into, man, putting them first, okay, verse 61. And another also said, Lord, I will follow thee, but let me first go bid them farewell, which are at home at my house. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, no man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of Yahweh Shai. Do you hear that? So in other words, all the worries of a person that's in the world without Yahweh Shai, we got to let that stuff go, man. OK, we can't allow them worries to capture us. We have to let the ones of our family and friends who have no hope, who are spiritually dead, worry about those things. Let those burdens be on them. And we just got to have hope and faith. OK, and be grateful and thankful that we have been called to this heavenly kingdom. man. Now, priest up to that, Matthew chapter 10, starting at verse 37. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And that's what that was talking about, man. He was making a bold, factual statement because he understands what it takes to make it to the kingdom of heaven. He knew. Okay. And that's what he was putting in their minds, man. Okay. You know, you want to go bury your father? Well, let the dead bury the dead. All right. You want to go um, to your house and bid your family farewell? Does that mean that God couldn't go bid his family farewell? No. He was making a point, man, to be careful, okay? Because that life that y'all living right now, I'm trying to call y'all out of it through the spirit. And it's going to take sacrifice. It's going to take to lay that life down that you had before you met me and come to life, the real life that lasts forever, man, that endure forever. OK, because those things are temporary. But if you follow me, 
Okay, my father, guess what? You're going to have eternal life, man. So Yahweh Shah would say a lot of pinpoint things, man, that might be harsh to the people in the world today to get the hopeful elect's attention to know how serious this is, man. Okay? It's going to take you to lay down everything, man. Point blank, period. Let's read verse 37 again. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Right. Verse 38. And he that taketh not his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Okay? Was I not just reading about them following the Lord? Well, that's what the Lord was talking about, man. You can't love your family more than me. Okay? And the Father, man. You can't do it. Because if you do it, you're going to lose. So you can't really get pulled into the emotions of their emotions moving forward in this truth. If you do that, you're going to fall, man. You might endure for a little bit, but the emotions of your family is going to grab you at some point. Okay? Because you haven't really fully got the understanding in this truth what's necessary to survive when it comes to dealing with your family. All right? That's one thing, you younger brothers, especially when you wake up to this truth, okay, and you're learning to eat this role, that's one thing you really got to eat to go to another level, man, because if you don't, you'll get so emotional to the point where you won't be able to take it, man, because you haven't faced the music, okay? You haven't faced the new song, man, that part of the new song, all right? From there, let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 6, starting at verse 14. Be you not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? For what fellowship have righteousness with the spiritually dead? That's what it's talking about. And what communion have light with darkness? Once again, the spiritually dead. And what concord have Yahweh Shah with Baal? Or what part have he that believeth with the infidel? And what agreement have the temple of Yahweh? By Shem Yahweh with idols, for you are the temple of the living power. And Yahweh have said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be you separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. That's what Yahweh Shah was telling them, man. Okay? I'm going to say it again so ain't no confusion. It's not wicked to go to a funeral, man. It's not wicked to. Go say bye. It's not wicked to go say bye to your family. But this truth requires a level of sacrifice that your family will be disappointed a lot of the time because you chose your Habashim Abashai over them. Okay? Whoever it is of your family kids, mother, father, cousin, best friend you had in the world that you looked at as a brother, like a family. OK, that's just the truth of the matter. So you can't get caught up in their emotions. Let darkness get emotional with darkness. But you have a job to do because you've been called. All right. You have been called. So when you read these scriptures, you really got to look at it man, and really eat it and understand it. Not just read over it. man. You got to understand what your was was saying, man, because with experiencing this truth as years go by, you really understand that, man. OK, because your people in your life, your family becomes farther and farther away. Whenever you grow and grow and grow, man, they become way over there. You might still call them, talk to them. They might have a get together. You might go. But for the most part, you're not really there. man. You're not invested that much like that in their emotions like you were before. Yahweh called you to the heavenly kingdom. So let's read 17 again. Wherefore, come out from among them and be you separate, says the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you and will be a father unto you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. Right. That's what it takes to be the son or daughter of your Habashim al -Shai. You have to put them first and everything else far second. Okay? That's just a reality. You see what I'm saying? That's just a reality, man. From there, let's go to 1 Peter chapter 4, starting at verse 1. For as much then as Yahweh Shai has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise. Arm yourselves. You hear that? 
That's what Yahweh Shah was doing, man. <laughs> he was telling them, hey, arm yourselves, man. Okay? And he did it by saying certain things that would really push a button of the average person, man. But it's going to take that, man. Your buttons have to be pushing this truth, man, in the spirit for you to really understand what this truth is really about, man, and really count the cost. So for as much then as Yahweh Shah have suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that have suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin, that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of man, but to the will of Yahweh. And that's what it's about, man. Pleasing Yahweh, man. Pleasing Yahweh, Bashi, Yahweh, Shai. That's it. Everything else, far second. Verse 3. For the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles when we walk in lavishness, lust, excess of wine, revealings, banquetings, and abominable idolatries, wherein they think it strange that you run not with them to the same excess of riot, speaking evil of you. Right. Because at the end of the day, your family is going to look at you a certain way, man. And some might be cool and, you know, but in their mind, they're like, man, what the hell is going on with him? You know, you didn't change your name to a Hebrew name. They're like, man, what the hell is going on with Dante? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They really become your enemy, man, at the end of the day, man. As harsh as that might sound, man, because Satan is on them to continue in that worldly way. And Satan is going to use them to seduce you every chance Satan gets to seduce you with them, to get you to run their way, man, okay? To run their way with them to do what? To be in the world, to participate in darkness. And you can't do that, man. You can't serve two masters. You can't serve the world and then serve your how about shot. It don't work that way, man, okay? So understand what your how shot was saying, man. It was very, very serious, very, very, very serious, with that, I hope all you Aki were edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Wakak Kodash. Forgive me the spirit through this video. Double honest to the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to you, Aki, my three in general, is doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.